Hi guys, Kai here and welcome back. This is episode 2 of my Football Manager 2014 Manchester United career. Um, I had quite a lot of feedback from the first one, so I'm happy to carry on this, this series and continue this first season with Man United. Hopefully get them back to the top. As you can see there, our first game up in this episode is at home to the Arsenal. I'm an Arsenal fan, but I'm hoping that they lose today. Man City sit top of the league currently. And let's see if we can have a good start to this Premier League season. This is the first game of the league, remember. So a lot of players will be getting their English league debut. Falcao starting up front. So I'll start him all Van Persie. I think I'm going to start Falcao. Rojo on the bench. I'm going to put Herrera on the bench instead. Arsenal got Giroud, Podolski, Ozil, Cazorla, Arteta, Flamini. Leighton Baines of the board. Debushi, Masaka, Koscielny and Chesney. And they've got Danny Welbeck, Wilshire on the bench, Savage on the bench as well. They must have bought him in the summer. So there we see Man City top. They beat Crystal Palace 4-2 in their opening game of the season. Let's have a quick team talk. We expect to win today. Now let's go out there and show the fans what we can do. Give them the money's worth. So, one matter and Falcao. Assertive, I don't know what to say to him. There we go. We expect a performance. Start match. Let's go. Man United versus Arsenal at Old Trafford. Who's going to get the three points on the opening day of the season? Half an hour in. Still no goals as of yet. Man United not playing too bad. Ball there from Di Maria to one matter. Shoots all good save there from the keeper. So it's going to go out for Man United corner, which Rooney takes. Come on, Mata. One Mata again. Rooney finds Mata. Oh, man, Arsenal get it away. Good defending there from the Arsenal. Playing in their purple strip. And Romus at half time. Still no goals. Free kick to Arsenal. Just gone over the bar. Leighton Baines with that shot. Unlucky not to give Arsenal the lead just before half time. Not playing too bad. Let's give him a quick team talk. We need to be playing a bit better. Passionate. I'm not happy with the performance. We can be doing better than this, lads. Come on. Come on, Arsenal. Uh, not Arsenal. Man United, sorry. Oh, he's been taken out there. It's going to be a free kick to Man United. Montoya takes it. Pass it in the middle to Matuidi. One of our other new signings. Come on, Montoya. Cover it. Well played. Hopefully Montoya is a good replacement for Rafael, who left for Juventus in the summer. 46 minutes played, still no goals, and now Ronnie Tack. Come on, get it forward, one matter. Gets the cross in. Oh. oh, Carrick, what was that? Is that Carrick? It's a crap shot, whoever it was. I think it was Michael Carrick. And Matuidi's picked up a yellow card. And we're into the last couple of minutes of the game. Looks like it's going to end 0-0. Pretty disappointed with that. I was hoping we'd get the winner against Arsenal. Oh, what was that? That was a crap shot again. All these strikers. And it ends 0-0. No goals. Let's give a team talk. Passionate. No. Calm. You were unlucky today, lads. You were unlucky. And we had most of the possession just. We had more shots. Also can see, uh, yeah, can see the more fouls. So that leaves us tenth in the league. Not too bad. Saints against Arsenal. We're at least we're unbeaten. We didn't lose. Uh, a quick look at the other results. Man City there winning 4-2. Arsenal Man United 0-0. Sunderland winning against Burnley. Newcastle beat Hull City 3-2. Benteke scored for Aston Villa away from home against Stoke. QPR also went drawing 2-2. And Tottenham won. Against Southampton on the first game of the season. And we've got Southampton next. We're away from home. Let's get our first win of the season. We're going to go straight into it. Chelsea sitting top after one game. And shall we play Falcao again? Or shall we put Van Persie on? Van Persie is currently listed as you can see at the minute. Because I don't want him in my team. I don't want Fellaini either. So unless they go. They won't be playing much to be fair. If they don't go in this window, they'll be going in January or at the end of the season. 
And hopefully I can get some decent money for Robin Van Persie. I can get in a decent replacement. Or find the money to uh, buy Falcao at the end of his loan period. Wainwright is 27 years old. I'm going to play two up front today. Instead of having Rooney as a camp, I'm going to play Falcao alongside Rooney up front. And playing against Southampton, I've got Pele, Salomon Kalou, uh, Wanyama. Decent team, but we should have enough power to get the three points here away from home against Southampton. Let's give him a quick team talk, passionate, calm one. Should be a calm one. Uh, good luck, lads, maybe. Here we go. Come on. Here we go. Man United kick off. Playing in their black strip. Let's get the three points, lads. Can we get an early goal? Cross comes in. Headed away. And cleared by Southampton, but not far. 25 minutes played. It's a throw into United on this left side. And Southampton get it away. And now they're on the break. Is through on goal. Kalu has lobbed the keeper and gives Southampton a one goal lead. 25 minutes gone, it's Southampton 1, Manchester United 0, not the start we wanted, still yet to find a win in this in this Premier League season, and there's a second goal, 53rd minute, 8 minutes into the second half, it came from a corner, it's Wam Yammer who scored it, 2-0 now, Southampton lead, and Man United got some work to do, so let's put Rooney back as Cam, maybe bring on Van Persie, you think Van Persie will get a goal or two for us? I'm going to put Robin in for Falcao. Come on, I'm expecting a performance from you, Van Persie. Otherwise, you're staying on that transfer list. Just over half an hour to go. Can we get a goal? Well, we need two, but can we get a goal? Here we go, 65th minute. Southampton again have scored, and it's now 3-0. This is becoming embarrassing it's Kalu's second goal of the game and with just 25 minutes to go it looks like we have lost this one we're on in possession now though in midfield nice passing play there from United Van Persie does the keeper and what was it sorry does the defender but ends it with a useless shot which didn't even test the keeper at all it wasn't on target and now we're going to the last minute of the game Southampton still leading by three goals to nil and if this is the way things are going to be happening in this league. It's not going to be a very successful season for United. And there goes the final whistle. A big loss there for United. Big win for Southampton. They're well played for them. And I should be aggressive to be fair. Not happy whatsoever. What shall I say to him? You were not good enough today lads. To see him hyped up about that. Motivated. Look at that. Left in 15th position. After just two games in this Premier League season. West Ham currently bottom. And a quick look at the rest of the results. Chelsea again winning. the one 4 2 this time. And Arsenal receiving 1.5 million because of Van Persie playing once again for United. We haven't got much of a transfer budget left. Uh, it's going to put Rooney back as the cam. Maybe switch things up a bit. I'm going to start Van Persie this time. Falco hasn't had the best of starts for United, so we'll wait and see how he does. Um, I'm going to take him off the transfer market, for now anyway. Hopefully he'll start banging in some goals for me. Oh, we've been given 7.26 million for the Champions League group stage. Who are we going to get in that Champions League group? Wait to see. Oh, here we go actually. The group, the draw is now. Where are we? We're on Group H. Here's the second seed of clubs, and we get AC Milan of Italy. Oh, it's a tough one. I'm confident though. Let's see who we get on the third seed. Zenit. That's going to be a tough game as well. Who do we get on the third team? Austria Vienna. So we've got AC Milan, Zenit, and Austria Vienna. It's going to be a tough group. Should finish top, at least second, to go through to the next round. But before we even start Champions League action, we've got another Premier League game away from home against West Brom and Jalbion. And surely this should be three points, but we didn't have much luck in the last away game. When we played Southampton, we lost 3-0. But we have got Van Persie starting up front for us today. Uh, maybe I should start Fellaini. He's on the transfer list as well. 
Ryan Giggs is a bit worried about match preparation. Who have West Brom got? Anybody decent that's going to cause us any trouble? I'm hoping not. Now let's go ahead, give a quick team talk, and hopefully get three points in the bag. I believe Man United have enough about themselves to see off West Brom today. Yes, so do I, but this is football after all. It never goes the way you want it to. Come on. Passionate. Yeah, let's go with a passionate team talk. Hopefully it'll hype them up. Let's try and get an early goal. Settle the nerves a bit. We're still yet to win in this season in the league. And we're almost 20 minutes gone. Man United are on the attack on this right side. Angel Di Maria gets the cross in. And there with the goal. First goal of the game. Wayne Ro Is it Wayne? Ro yeah, it's Wayne Rooney. We have the first goal for United. Almost 20 minutes gone. West Bromwich Albion 0. Manchester United 1. And we're in front. Can we get another one? We're on the break again. On the counter attack. Played on this left side. Played forward. Come on. Mata strikes it and it's in the back of the net. Man United have doubled the lead. It's now two goals and two minutes for United. And that is the way we want to be playing. A goal from Wayne Waruni and a goal from Juan Mata. And we're going to half time 2 0 up. Things looking much better. Now I'm going to do a calm team talk, I think. Wayne Rooney and Juan Mata. Not happy with that team talk. Well, stuff you. I'll give you a bit more. Uh, yeah, Wayne Rooney's confused. He's always confused. And now I'm going to team talk with Juan Mata. And he's also confused. So both goal scorers confused. Doesn't surprise me. They're both footballers. But here we go. Second half. 2 0 up to United. West Brom in possession, looking to get back into it. And a goal kick there for West Brom, played up front. Man United won the ball, one matter on the ball. And he shoots far post and he scored his second of the game. And that is now 3-0 to United. We're playing really well now. One matter on a hat-trick. Can he get it before the full-time whistle goes? We've got just over 20 minutes remaining. Going to give him some instructions. Uh, retain possession. Take a breather a bit. Or oh, waste time. Yeah, let's waste some time. Just under 10 minutes remaining. Let's waste some time. Get these three points guaranteed. You never know a football manager. Some crazy shit might happen. And they'll come back and draw 3 3. Can we get a fourth? We're on your tack. Oh, it's a poor pass. Who was that? Is that Carrick or Matweedy? Come on, plate forward. Yeah. He's through. Van Persie, oh, good save from the keeper. But there, with the rebound, it's Angel Di Maria. No, it's Valencia, sorry. Valencia makes it 4-0 to Manchester United. Just over five minutes to go. Very well played from United. Much better than the first two games. And the free kick there. Good save from the keeper. Almost made it five to United. Still got a couple of minutes remaining there. Can still make it five. Uh, playing well now, retaining possession, trying to waste some time. And he's through. Good save again from the keeper. And a shot blocked from Mata. Almost made it five. And that would have been his hat trick if that one went in. Uh, good possession play here from United. He's lost it there though. And then as we go into the last minute of the game, still leading by four goals to nil. West Brom are all on the attack on the right wing. Playing it in more centrally. Oh, he's done the defender cross comes in and the header comes in and they've got a goal. A few seconds remaining on the clock and they've got one back. So it's 4-1 now, Man United lead. And Man United kick us off. Wait for that final whistle to go. We get the three points. Come on, can we get a fifth? Still got 20 seconds to go. Attacking on the right side, cross comes in, through on goal, oh is it the crossbar? Wayne Rooney has hit the crossbar, he could have made it 5-1 there to United. But we've got to throw it in now. And there goes the final whistle, 5-1 win for United. And it's one matter with the man of the match. He did get two goals in that performance. And Valencia came off the bench to get a goal as well. Wayne Rooney with the fourth, or the other one. And here we go. One matter, man of the match, key player as well. Malumba was West Brom's key player. Look at that, 23 shots, 52% possession. 
And that puts us up to ninth. So top top half of the table now. That's where we belong. Liverpool down in 14th. Tottenham in 12th. Let's have a look at these results. Burnley beat Hull City 3-2. Ben Offer scoring there for Hull. Crystal Palace lost to QPR. Liverpool winning 3-0 against West Ham United. Newcastle winning again. Uh, Stoke and Man City won against Southampton. Everybody's happy with one matter's performance in that game. As am I. Benzema report. I thought I'd do a scout report. Real Madrid have made an offer for Van Persie. Which is nowhere near what I want. Now I need instant money straight away please if I'm going to get it. I need to find a replacement if I'm going to sell him. So I can't accept that offer. Van Persie looks like he's going to be staying with me. Tim Vies. No, I don't want him. Uh, Bender, Sven Bender. I don't want him. I wanted your brother. If it is your brother, Lars Bender. Who is now at Chelsea. I've got some more media work to do for World Soccer Magazine. Interviewed by Cole Chalmers. And there we go. That's out of the way. I hate talking to media. It is a pain in the arse. And will we have time for another game? I don't think we will have another game. Let's have a look at this, this transfer deadline day. We've got five and a half hours to go. Carlos Vela has gone to Russia Dortmund for 20.5 million. Any other? Fabian Delph has left Villa to go to Southampton. Nugent's gone to West Brom. Oviedo has gone to CSK Moscow. Contral has gone to Dortmund. Dortmund got some good players. And some rumours. Any rumours that Messi wants to join United at all? I could do with him. I could do with him. It's highly unlikely though. And we've got Chelsea in our next game. But I'm not going to play that one. Although it's not Chelsea in that set. I keep, why am I thinking that I'm Arsenal? I think that I'm Arsenal. I don't know. Too many FIFA careers with the Arsenal. And because I'm an Arsenal fan. But we are United. Well, let's offer Fellaini and Robin Van Persie. With a couple of hours to go on transfer deadline day, can we get rid of him and bring in somebody new? How many hours have we got of this deadline day to go? Not many. Is there anybody else I can get rid of? Marcus Rojo? No, I'm sure he'll be good. He'll be a start central defender in the Premier League, so should keep him. Um, Chris Smalling? Pretty shy. He's 23 years old. Again, he should be a star in the future. No offers for for Fellaini. Real Madrid again offering for Van Persie, but only a little up front, which I'm not going to accept. But Newcastle United next. That's who we've got. And transfer deadline day has passed. No more people coming in. No more people going out for now at least. We've got who we've got, and hopefully we'll have a good first half of the season. Get that will get us to the new year. Hopefully we'll be top or around the top spot. Hopefully in the top four at the very least. Get Man United back to where they belong in this first season. How good would that be? We've got the place to do it. We're just registering all our players for the Champions League and the Premiership. And a quick squad report for the Lonies. And quite a few players. Oh, sorry. Wayne Rooney and Juan Mata in the team of the week for United. Well played for them. And they take Van Persie back off the transfer market because nobody came in from Chelsea. Interested in that. Interested in him though. They should have put an offer in then, shouldn't they? Thanks for watching, guys. If you like the video, please hit like, comment if you want to below, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Peace!